What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Chaka Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm back with another vlog. But before I get into that vlog, I want to remind everyone to take the time to check out my playlist that I leave in the description box. The link will always be there. Take the time to click on it. Run the views up, run the comments up, leave me some thumbs up, and go from there. Today, I'm back with a... I don't know how I want to title it. Thoughts on life vlog. Um, Memphis shooters, Memphis shooting spree on live. That's the name I'm gonna use because that's that name got 50 plus rating on two, but it's so I'm gonna use that title for it. Memphis shooting spree on live. I want to share my thoughts on that. I want to share my thoughts on that. That's why I. Because I don't watch the news on a regular basis around working two full-time jobs. So, I get it. I find out everything that's going on in the world through Instagram. Instagram is really keeping me on point. Instagram really keeps me updated on everything that's going on in the world nowadays. And I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate that. No matter how long it takes for an upload to upload on Instagram, I was continuing to keep Instagram installed on my phone. That way I can stay updated. Of everything going on in the world But before I get into sharing my thoughts on this I want to I want to send my condolences to the ones That lost their life in this In this, in this tragedy And send my prayers up to For a full recovery for the ones That was that's in critical just that got injured You know I want to get out of the way first Send my condolences to the ones that passed away To their families, to their loved ones Their close friends and praying for a speedy recovery from the ones that was injured and in critical condition. Now, the first question I have on my, my on my mind would be to Facebook. How in the hell you guys Facebook let this be on live for hours? For hours. For hours. How? How? Facebook, how? But yeah, if I cuss one time in a comment, my my comments immediately, immediately, immediately flagged. Now I'm in Facebook jail for three days a week, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you allow someone to record themselves. Going into an auto zone and shooting someone. Driving down the street, shooting out the window. Are you serious, Facebook? Like, I mean, help me understand it. Help me understand it. Is some things okay and other things not? Because that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. People cussing the comments or cussing somebody out. They, they in Facebook jail. But yet, someone commit a murder on your platform. And nothing gets done right away about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. It rained pretty badly over here last night. But you know, that's that's basically what you're saying. Why wouldn't no video took it down ASAP? After he after he shot that man in AutoZone, that should have blocked both his accounts right there. Not later, because he it's obvious that he had time to do that. Shoot a Shoot in it, shoot out the window. You know, all on Facebook Live. All on Facebook Live and nothing was done about it. Nothing was done about it. I, I find that's an issue. Yeah, I cussed one time in the comments, in a comment to someone or a comment on a post or say something sexual in a comment. I'm in Facebook jail. I mean, I'm flagged. I'm flagged. Right after making a comment, I don't think that's right at all. In my opinion, I don't think that's right. At all. I don't find that right at all. You know, and it's crazy to see what this this world coming to. It's like it's like these young people, you know, and not not to get subject, but that's the third time that happened on Facebook. That's the third time. Keep keep track, keep keep counting with me. That's the third time that has happened on Facebook platform. Now. The first time was the Buffalo shooting. 
The guy did a live stream, Facebook live stream. Second time was the 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 um the Mexican that shot at that school in Texas. Made all kind of posts about gun. Oh, I got something big that will happen tomorrow. And none of this was red flag. None of this was a flag or ticking down. And nobody see a problem with that but me. Hmm? This is the third time something like this has happened on the Facebook platform. And nothing was done about it. Nothing was done about it. Not saying it could have been prevented. But in this situation, they could have tracked them down a lot faster than what they did. I mean, I think he started like 12.30 at lunchtime, 12.30 noon, and then get arrested away. Close to 8 o'clock at night, come on. You know, he kept switching vehicle, but he kept going on live. You know what I mean? Like, it says Facebook allowed to pinpoint our location, so why, why couldn't Facebook, why couldn't Facebook help him pinpoint his location? The void too many people getting hurt or getting killed. Please like me, Facebook. I mean, Facebook should be under a big investigation. Facebook should be under a big investigation behind this behind this strategy. Since this is the third time it's going to happen on their platform, yeah, it's time to put Facebook under investigation. It's time to put Facebook under investigation. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I would, I would want to be, I would want an investigation done on Facebook. I would want an investigation done on Facebook right now. Right now, like, right now, like yesterday, right now. Got all this going on? Yeah. It's time for Facebook to be on investigation. Now, to share my thoughts on the strategy. What is going on in these 19-year-olds? Like, this is the third time a killing. I think the fourth time that the, the one that did a parade shooting. In Chicago, no, in Illinois, I think he was 19 as well. What is going on in these 19-year-old lives? Where they, where they want to do this kind of stuff? Where they want to, where they want to, where they want to do these bad shoes? I, I don't understand it. What, what is going on so wrong in your life? I mean, I'm a foster child. I was in three foster homes before I finally got adopted. I was on my last limb. Tell me this foster home you going to. If it don't work, you're going to a boys program until you're 18. You're going into a boys program until you're 18. You know what I mean? Like I was in three different foster homes. You know what I'm saying? So that last foster home that adopted me, I had to make it work. And yet, here I am 42 years old and never crossed my mind to do a bad shoot. I don't know that I don't know if that's a new trend or something, but it's never, no matter how bad things go in my life, it would never cross my mind to go kill an innocent me. It would never, I don't care how bad my life get. I don't care how bad my life get, it would never cross my mind to go do a bad shit. That's what I always wonder, what, what is going on in these 19-year-olds' life? Just turning young adults. You know what I mean? And you you out here commit these mad shootings. It's really like y'all playing GTA. Especially this Memphis shooting spree on Facebook Live. Especially that. That's like you playing GTA in real life. You brought the video game to real life. You start off in an infinity truck or infinity car. And you hijack the lady. You run around the city playing injury and come to people asking for help with a gun in your hand. Then you injured with a gun in your hand. One lady was smarter than knowledge that you wasn't hurt, that you were faking. You know what I mean? You hijacked a woman for her vehicle. Like you basically playing in GTA. You 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 imitating GPA, GTA. You crash the car, hijack another car. You know. That's crazy. Like, are you serious? Yo, video games are only meant for video games. I play this same video game, but it's not in my mind to go do it in real life. It's not in my mind to get out here and do it. Let the movies take care of that. Let the movies turn these video games into... I mean, let, let Hollywood turn these video games into movies and TV shows. Let them sit in that. Not, not us, not, not regular citizens. Let them sit in that. 
I mean, let the real actors stick to that. Turn the movies into, turn the video games into TV shows and movies. Let, let Hollywood stick to that. You know, we just enjoy the video game. Let's get back to just enjoying the video games and let Hollywood do all the extra, extra nonsense. It's sad that that many people lost their lives behind this. And that many people was critically injured. You know what I mean? Imagine how many people you you this affect this gonna this this is a bit domino effect on this because whatever he crashed these vehicles into, let, hopefully it wasn't no uh, other people. Pedestrians on the that he hit that he crashed into. You know what I mean? Cause that that gonna be a what? Wow. Like that's crazy, man. Nineteen. I'm doing it for my hood. I'm doing it for my hood. Take care of my game. Man, yo, okay, let's see if your hood had while you locked up. Let's see if your hood can put stamps on your on your on your books. Let's see if your hood can put money in your book. Let's see they gonna see some pictures and, and come visit you. Since you did it for your hood, you did it for your game. Let's see how much love and support they gonna show you. I wouldn't show you no some love and support. You know what I mean? I mean, you don't deserve no love and support. You injured, you injured, you murdered and injured. And wounded innocent people that did nothing to you. That said, it would have been okay if they had some kind of past confrontations in the past, but you injured and murdered and wounded innocent people. Innocent people that didn't deserve to die died because of you. That's crazy, man. That, 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 I'm like, I'm really lost for words on it. These ain't signs we live in the last days. Can't even say the last day because people been saying that since I've been born, since I was in middle school. They've been saying we're living in the last days. And then here I am now, 42 years old. So I ain't gonna say we're living in the last day, but it's crazy to see what's going on in this world. It's crazy to see that these mass shootings happening back to back, back to back, back to back. Once one died down, here goes another. You know what I mean? Once that one died down, here goes another. It's all and it's all the last four was done by about 19 year olds. 19. Wow. Wow. I'm just like, I'm really lost for this, man. I'm really out. But well, they're gonna give him a lot of time. You know, all the charges he's facing. Uh, all the charges he's facing behind this. He looking at a lot of time. A lot of time. He, Boy, he he out he ain't getting out. He'll never see the streets again. I don't know how the laws is in Memphis, but I don't think he'll see the streets again. Murder how many? Four or five. Wounded. I know the one that got from all those is in critical conditions. You know what I mean? He'll never see the streets again. That's not including all the how many times he he hijacked someone, carjacked someone. You know what I mean? That, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of. Well, again, I know that list is long. I know that li the list of charges are long for this idiot, for this fool, for this, for this black man. I don't want to say his name. He don't deserve that kind of man, that kind of respect to say his name. But you gotta be a real heartless person to go around killing, shooting innocent people. Innocent, you, you gotta be a heartless person for that now, for that right there, man. Like, I'm wow, you know, and, and I know it took the police a while to track him down, but man, I'm surprised they didn't kill him. I'm really surprised that the police did not kill him on sight, played it all, made it part of the crash. And shot the shot the brace off his butt. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised the police did not kill him. I'm 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 really surprised that the police didn't put a bullet in him. Or at least beat him up. I'm just being I'm just being I'm just being honest with my mind. If I was a if I one of them one of them cops, oh yeah, you yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. You got a bullet, bro. You wanna be you would you wanna be sitting in jail right now. You be sitting to protect the customer right now. I'm just being honest with you. You murdered. You 
murdered, you critically injured, you shot people. For no reason. For no reason. And then you go get to live the rest of your life incarcerated? No. I feel that should be a law. You commit murder and get arrested or t and, and whatever, police are just right to kick you. You know what I mean? Whether you call, whether you try to injure them or not, they just they can kill you. I, I feel that should be a law. They should be able to kill you right there. They should be able to kill you right there on site. Right there on scene. You get arrested, put cans, cuts on you. Kill you right there on site. That's in my opinion. That's in my opinion right now. You should be, you should be killed right on site. You no. Know? Like the dude said in the interview, that dude is in jail, but he can't get his brother back. He can't get his friend back. So, I feel the same way. You don't want to commit murder? You, no, don't, don't, don't put you in jail. Kill you right now. Kill you right where they arrest you at. Kill you right now. Right where you get arrested at, kill you. That's just my opinion. Kill you right there. Right there on site. Why should you sit in jail for the rest of your life and you killed all these people? You killed him and shot all these people. Nah. You deserve the same, same thing you gave them. You deserve it. Kill them. You know what I mean? Kill them. Just that simple. It's just that's a kick. Or we'll send you, or we'll automatically send y'all to war. Anybody out here wanna commit these senseless murders, kill innocent people, send you over there to the war. Put you, in, put you on the front line. Put you on the front lines of the war, and then, then you can kill all you want. That's just my opinion. Then you can kill and murder all you want. Put you on the front line. Put you at the front line of the war. Since you want to be bad about it in my message before, you bad about it, you bad about it, I'm bad about it. Since you want to be bad about it and do it for your hood, go do it for your country. Go in the army and do it for your country. Don't do it for your hood, don't do it for your gang. Do it for your, do it for your country. Go over there and be at the front, the front row of the war and do it for your country. Do it for your country. You know? And if you die, then get them. 12 gunshots and give your family a folded flag. I mean, since you want to kill innocent people, you know, go kill some innocent people that, that shoot back. You know, go to the war and kill innocent people that shoot back. Little kids walking the street with a bomb on their chest. Huh? Little beautiful women trying to sleep with you got a bomb on their chest. You know what I mean? Go, go, go over there and kill some of them. That's my opinion. Everyone, that's my opinion. That should be a lie. Everyone want to commit a murder charge. They commit an innocent murder. Should be dragged right into the war. Mm, okay. I'm getting, you shouldn't be sitting in jail. You shouldn't be sitting in prison on taxpayers' money like myself for the rest of your life to the day you die. No, no. Send you over there to the war. Send you to Afghanistan. Send you to Pakistan. Send you everywhere we still got soldiers that's fighting these wars. That you go over there fighting them wars. That's, that would be your penalty if I was president. On that being real, if our president, that would be your penalty. And when I commit a murder, no matter how you do it, that's where you're going. Even with minors, you sit in, you sit incarcerated until you're 18, then adjudicate you. So your 18th birthday, you drafted right into the army. Go ahead, and go to war, fight the war, front line, front line. And since you want to kill people, you want to kill innocent people. Why not? That is my opinion. That's what I would do with all y'all. It's sad that this continue happening in the world. Left and right, left and right, time by the time by the time. Like how many, how many mass shootings are gonna be in this country? How many mass shootings are gonna be in America until until something's get done about it? I really don't care what his motive was. I could I, I can't I can't I can't think of no motive justifiable justifiable for this. Don't want to hear he got mental issue. It, that don't justify nothing. That don't justify. It's all kind of people right with mental issues and not out here committing mass shootings. So save all the excuses. Save all the reasons. I don't think we're we're ever know the reason. Don't really want to be honest. Me personally, I don't want to know the reason behind 
him killing and shooting innocent people. I really don't want to know, to be honest with you. I'm sad to know that they lost their life and one guy, I think it's more than one, I didn't check, but because everything online about it on YouTube is a long video you got to watch. You know, I'm not with all that way. No, just get straight to the point. This how the people he killed. I think it's five dead and four injured, four wounded, or four killed and, and five wounded. Whatever the number is, it's still sad regardless. Regardless of how many it is, it's, it's still sad, man. People lost their lives. People is wounded. Now they losing time from work. We already in in a in recession right now, inflation. You know, bills that are going on. Imagine how much just going to put them behind their bills. Because a fool wants to kill and wound and shoot innocent people. That's why I say I pray for a speedy recovery. Because life ain't going to have no sympathy towards them. They, 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 they be a collector stick on what they build money on time. And it's sad, man. It's, it's, it's sad. There should be some kind of funding in place. All this money we get to other countries, this is where a lot of that money should come in handy. People that are out here getting, getting shot in critical conditions for living their everyday life, out and about living life, it should be some kind of funding set up for this. The president really need to look at it. Some kind of funding need to be set up for this. You know, for real, some some kind of funding to help them recover from this should be set up for a situation like this. Some kind of, I ain't going to say FEMA, but it should be something in place to help people in situations and like, tragedies like this. That's just my opinion. And I just want to share my thought. That's how I feel. This is how Raymond Tackle forever feel. If you don't respect how I feel, then don't comment. Stop watching my channel. By all means, I'm going to gain and lose my whole YouTube journey to the day I die. My whole YouTube journey been up and down. If you don't agree with how I feel, don't, don't come in the comment because any negative comments will not be responded to. I'm going to give this out and shoot like, like the future. All the negative said by him, they always put that Mimi in him with a cup and sip of the tea like that. You won't get a response. Just being real. I respect everybody's opinion, so everyone should be able to respect my opinion. It's just that simple. For a shout out, my, for a shout out, my shout out video the last Sunday of September. I tell me how y'all feel about this strategy. Tell me how y'all feel about this situation. I give you a shout out in my shout out video the last Sunday of September. If you like this story of time, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Make sure you turn the post bell notifications. That you, that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And make sure you click on the link in the description box. You know, help every video in there get the 50 plus views. That's my goal. I want every blog on my channel to reach 50k, 50, 50 views or higher. You know, leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up, and I'll see y'all my next video. Once again, my condolences goes to the goes out to the families that lost a loved one behind this behind this strategy, and also I'm praying for a speedy recovery for the ones that was. There's a critical condition that was shot. I'm praying for a speedy recovery. A speedy recovery. They heal as fast as possible. And that their life can get back to that they can get back to life as fast as possible. 